there are signs that the capital has been sitting on the sidelines and it's starting to move. For example, Brookfield Asset Management has raised $61 million in capital in the first nine months of 23. And Galapagos Capital, a Brazilian investment firm, plans to raise $2 billion fund for investment in U.S. real estate. Bruno Carvalho, a partner and head of international business for Galapagos Capital, told Bloomberg that the company is investing in a team of experts to be prepared to take advantage of opportunities when they arise here in the United States. And he believes that the Fed interest rates hikes will eventually stop, and which will also help to bring property prices back up. Now, these developments suggest that capital is ready and starting to flow back into commercial real estate markets. Even though transaction volumes remain low and valuations are still discounted, this could be the sign that we're waiting for, that the market is bottoming out and that a recovery is underway.